It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Today we're gonna react to a video about the situation in San Francisco about reparations. And so without further hesitation, let us begin. San Francisco supervisors today heard more than 100 recommendations from a city appointed reparations committee tasked with figuring out how to atone for centuries of slavery and systemic racism. San Francisco is considering a reparations proposal that includes a $5 million lump sum payment for each eligible black person. San Francisco could become the first major U.S. city to fund reparations as the idea gains traction across the country. Reparations advocates say the harms of slavery have continued since its official end in 1865. I'm not going to lie, when I saw this news clip for the first time, I had like a lot of mixed reactions to it. As everybody knows, the southwest part of the United States was actually part of Spain together with the rest of Latin America and like a lot of Caribbean islands. The first 13 states of America was part of the British Empire and they fought against the British and they won against the British and through manifest destiny they acquired more and more territory to become the modern day country that we have right now. When America was fighting against the British for independence, we had two major allies. The first ally was France, and the second ally was Spain. We also know that the Spanish crown also made sure to finance the various type of stuff they're doing during the War of Independence through the various territories that we also have today. And one of the territories that we have today is basically California. Based upon what I can tell so far, there's not a single record of any sort of black slaves in California's history, not in San Francisco or the rest of California. And what's so fascinating about all of this was that black people in America actually had more rights in Spanish America in comparison to the United States. A matter of fact, the Spanish Empire had plenty and plenty of examples on which black people actually was helping them out while they were still in power. And for example, uh, Juan Latino or Juan de Cesa, he was a teacher and responsible from area of the university. It, it was so famous that the, that the king from Spain said to the University of Granada to make a picture of him because of that, we have this picture. This is our original picture. And he put this uh, picture in his own palace. This is a picture from the palace, the king's palace. And he had a picture from a black people, from a black person in the palace, in the school. Always said that, for example, Spaniards were racist. How it's possible that the king had a picture in the palace from one black person, Juan, Juan de Cesar. And it's incredible but because there are more than three uh, black conquerors, Spanish black conquerors. And, and I have the picture also, but it's, it's too long to speak from all of them. <laughs> yes, sure. I, just a few of them, please. Just a few of them. Okay, I will show a few of them. For example, this, this is Inca Don Marcos Yupanqui. Uh, th these are uh, governors, uh, Incas governors. Uh, for example, we have here uh, Estebanico. Estebanico helped in some conquer, but he was he was a, a little bit rebel. Then he, he took away. But for example, we have Juan Garcia. This was a conquer, a black conqueror that was with Pizarro. Uh, we have Beltrán de Magaña. Uh, that he was born in Guadalajara, Spain, and he went um, to also to, he was a conqueror. Uh, we have uh, Juan Garrido, there was a, another uh, uh, son of uh, uh, probably an uh, African king. And we have, I have a list here, a big list of, for example, we have the Francisco Arobe and his sons, that where he was a a leader, no? In um, um, it, it was a, like a governor, no? 
Uh, and, and he, I have a lot of uh, people from also from Filipinas uh, in the Spanish Empire. Uh, also, we have uh, different companies of uh, Compañía de Morenos Libres, the free uh, black people that fight with Spain, and they were free. No, uh, we have also Francisco Mendez that was a uh, military leader to the for the Spanish uh, Empire, and we have a lot of examples here. It's a long uh, list uh, of people, uh, along etc. No, given the long history of the treatment of black people underneath the Spanish Empire, how in the world does it make any type of sense to force California? to pay for reparations. If the treatment of black people were actually good, then what exactly is the point? Yes, I do know for a fact that there was like a lot of mistreatment of Chinese people during the gold rush, but we're specifically talking about black cattle slavery. And because California has been innocent about that whole entire issue, why should that state still be forced to pay money? But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.